A 12-year-old girl and her family are demanding a refund from the budget airline Ryanair because of an argument over whether they needed an extra ticket for her violin. Francesca Reichs had planned to take the rather valuable instrument as hand luggage. At the last minute, though, she was told she would have to put it in the hold or buy another ticket for it at a cost of £190. Yeah, she drew this picture. She was... Uh obviously rather angry and upset by the whole incident. Yes, Ryanair, whose passenger numbers are in fact increasing, says it's always made it clear that musical instruments must go in the hold unless passengers buy an extra ticket. Well, it's been a bit of an issue for a lot of musicians uh, recently. With us now, Samara Ginsberg, who's a cellist, and Rochelle Turner, who's a holiday travel expert from which. Good morning to you both. Good morning. So, Samara, you've got your most precious possession there with you, uh, which is a a cello. It is, yes. Now, you'd never fit that in the overhead luggage locker, no. would you? No, I mean, this has been an issue for, for cellists since the year dot. We've always had to buy an extra seat for our instruments. Mm. Um, but, um, I mean, the issue that musicians are having with budget airlines is that they're now demanding that even violinists and viola players have to buy an extra seat, despite the fact that these instruments can fit comfortably into the overhead lockers. And you're not covered, just to be clear then, you're not covered by insurance, as I understand it, if no. you put any of your in, uh, instruments in the hold? No, it's a stringed instrument. Stringed instruments are just not insured in the hold of an aircraft. It's, um, it's not just um, about baggage handlers, it's about the changes in temperature and air pressure. They're, they're very bad for instruments. Mm. And right now, I would say, uh, Rochelle, that it's fairly clear on their website you know, what, you, what the deal is with musical instruments, and so... Well, I think, to be fair to Ryanair, um, there are many complaints about that airline, and I've heard probably a majority of them. But I was looking at their terms and conditions and the frequently asked questions yesterday on their website, and mm. it is very clear about musical instruments and about the um, requirements for baggage and the size that they allow. All airlines nowadays are struggling to make money. We know that, um, and they are getting their extra income through charging for baggage. And if you do find a low fare, you have to think about, well, almost what is the catch to this low fare? It's no longer you're not able to smile sweetly to the person behind the counter and, and they'll let you through nowadays. You do have to pay the extra. Um, and so having the extra money for the violin in this case, because it was exceeding the baggage allowances is, is just something that is part and parcel of flying with a low-cost airline. Mm. Yes, yeah, the little girl again in, in question. And Samara, you're finding this, a lot of musicians are finding this, and you've got other stories of friends who are also violinists who've had similar yes. stories. I've, I've heard um, anecdotes from people about um, having booked the extra seat for, for their violin or viola. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and then when they get on the plane, they're told to put it in the overhead locker anyway. Hmm. And, um, and sometimes they've even found that the airline has sold the seat to a person. Yeah. What do you make of that? Well, that doesn't seem very fair that if you've bought an extra seat for your cello, that the cello should be able to, in effect, sit there. And, and to be able to sell that extra seat and just tell you to put your um, cello in the overhead locker or violin. your instrument or yeah. violin yeah. or whatever in the that overhead really well, but perhaps it's, not with it's, 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 but, it's, it, but it's, And it's because you don't get a numbered seat, do you? Just sort of, it's, no, you every, don't. And that's another problem with budget airlines is that this, this rugby scrum for seats um, means that you have to pay extra to get one of these priority boarding yeah. passes. There'll be some people that will say, you know, you have a cello, if it can't go in the hold, kind of on your head be it. Do you accept that in terms of when you're travelling? I do, um, but I think that the airlines could be doing more to make it easier um, for musicians to use their services because at the end of the day, um, if you're a string quartet, you now have to buy eight seats and, um, and really you might as well fly with a non-budget airline. It's, it's easier. Well, that's, I was going to make, Just, make, make yeah. that, that point. I mean, the budget They're airlines are there business. for people who, who you know, it's, it's sort of not cutting corners as such, but mm. it's, it is no frills. But, and I mean, a, a musical yeah. instrument, it would seem, is a frill. Perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> but at the end of the day, they're losing our business. And um, they're making it more expensive for musicians to travel abroad. Classical music is not an industry noted for financial stability. Mm. Um, and concert promoters abroad aren't necessarily willing to pay um, pay that much money for us it's to travel. Bottom line then for any musician watching or anybody really is just to read the small print and vote with your feet. Well I think it has to be and you know you know that if you're going to pay a small fare on a low-cost airline there will be all of these extras and it's watching what those extras are and if you do have a frill as Bill says then you know make sure that you've, you've got in mind at least how much extra that frill will cost you. Mm.
In the meantime, you're getting some extra mail. I am indeed. <laughs> um, when you book a seat on an airline, there has to be a name attributed to it. So um, I've, I book seats for Mr. A. Cello, and um, I found that one of the ways in which budget airlines uh, recoups the cost of these um, ridiculously low fares is by selling their details to third parties. Because I've actually received junk mail addressed to Mr. A. Cello. <laughs> He's not very happy to receive it. <laughs> no, 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 he's, he's not very happy about that at all. <laughs> Just playing really badly down the phone. <laughs> 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 yes. Thank you both very much. Thanks Thank for you. coming in. Thank you.